Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I want to talk about here is the whole thing with the adpocalypse as far as that goes. So, for me, personally, as far as when it comes to, uh, monetization on my channel, I think I'm pretty much ineligible for some of that monetization. I think it has to do with, like, maybe I, I can't really get a partnership on my main channel, Mr. Rukage, and the Rukage99 channel, simply because those channels were uh, terminated at one point. It was basically about back in the end of the, the, the second half of 2012 up until the first half of 2013 was when my Mr. Rokage channel was terminated for copyright. And then it was about back in like 2010 when my uh, Rokage 99 channel was Terminated, and it was about like the end of 2014, start of 2015, when my Rukage 99 channel was brought back. You know, as far as that goes. And it took me a long time to get that sort of channel back because I wasn't really a big YouTuber, anyways, at that point. It's not like how it was when it came to some of the other YouTubers who, um, I mean, the bigger YouTubers who have a lot more clout there, as far as that goes. I mean, considering there was plenty of YouTubers that had gotten their channels suspended and terminated at one point and it was brought back really quickly, you know. And then considering that, that one uh, YouTuber... Uh, who uh, had had his channel taken down because of the stuff that he did on that Red Dead Redemption? I keep saying it wrong. You know, it's Red Dead Redemption. You know, and the fact that there was a lot of people like Team Star and Buggy and all the other ones had had uh, had. Uh, gone to his defense and brought his channel back, but unfortunately when it came to um, Monkey Jones, you know, his channel is still terminated as far as that goes. But it was simply, you know, maybe it all probably goes together because of like the whole adpocalypse and all this sort of stuff there, but I think I can see that the, the whole problems with YouTube had all stemmed from all the stuff maybe about three years ago. But I think it was also the fact that YouTube has has a lot more uh, traffic and views than all these media conglomerates combined and, and the fact that all of them are trying to save they're sinking ship at this point because there's there's all these sort of reports about how uh, Media Matters, Vox, and uh, BuzzFeed, and Huffington Post, and and I think in some other like ones are 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 going down in flames at this point, and I think in in this sort of thing is is just simply they're trying to take YouTube down with them, but I don't think it's really going to work out for them in the end. You know. And like I said, it's just that even if YouTube does fall at this point, it's not going to really be the end of that sort of stuff. I mean, there's that whole D-Live and Mines and, and Vimeo and all these other kind of uh, outlets of that sort. But Considering all of that, I don't know 
if there's any going to be some form of regulation to prevent this sort of thing happening as far as that goes, it, you know, to prevent this sort of anti-competitive behavior as well as monopolistic behavior as far as that goes. And considering all that, I think there, there should be some regulation, but at least in a way where it's kind of balanced, where it's not going to be over-regulated, but not be under-regulated in some ways. And, as I kind of said in one of my previous videos about this sort of stuff, because there are certain corporations that like to play both sides of the aisle, this sort of thing, so they can pretty much under-regulate in certain areas, and then over-regulate in certain areas, you know, so that way they can remain on the top, you know, regardless of who it's in power, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, you know, or in other countries, you know, like liberals and conservatives, labor and conservatives, or, 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 uh, liberal and labor, or whatever, you know, there might be something similar to that, you know, but, I don't know, really, but, how I kind of see this sort of thing, play out much further, you know, I, I kind of think that if everybody does band together, we can beat the legacy media's assault on YouTube. And that takes cooperation from everybody on all sides of the aisle, you know, to attack people on the far left or on the far right that see YouTube as an existential threat, as far as that goes. So, anyways, um, I guess that's probably it until next time. So, talk to you guys later. Hello.